And here we are at Thrust Central on Wednesday 16th July. Uh, we're going to try afterburners today, alias plastic cups. Um, I've turned down a little thingy and stuck into the orifice of my wind meter, I don't know if you can see that, to try and get the readings back onto the scale. I've no idea what the wind speed will be, but it'll give it a, rel a relative idea. Got the same old spring balance. Uh, different to last time, I'm using a regular car battery to power the whole thing. It's about 12 volts, but the good thing is it stays relatively constant. So, big long leads though, so I'm not quite sure how that'll hold up heat-wise. Okay, here we go. So, uh, let's remove these first. I'm most interested in the E-flux velocity, so we'll spool it up. Okay, here we are with one afterburner fitted. Just stuffed it up the tube. Everything else is the same. Spool it up, see what we get. Okay, here we go with the two afterburners fitted. Extremely hot battery leads. Wow! 50 amps down those silly little wires, probably not a good idea. Never mind, test is complete. Low battery.